I made it to the Airbnb. Um, it's not an Airbnb. It's a hostel. Anyways, I made it to the hostel in Groningen. Um, if you're curious, it's called Pension Tivoli, I think. I'll put the name here. Um, it's just the cheapest hostel I could find. It's not too bad. They gave me a nice desk, which I will definitely be doing some writing at tonight. Um, you know, we've just got a bed. We've got um, a microwave and a kettle and a mini fridge, which is fantastic because I can make tea and keep food, which I bought some food. So I have dinner. Um, and then there is actually a little sink, which is really nice. So yeah, now we're just gonna chill. I'm gonna eat my dinner, which is just a bunch of snacks, basically. I'm gonna watch, um, this is a girl on YouTube. Her name's Wanted Royalty on YouTube. She is doing book reviews and stuff. She's also on TikTok, which is how I found her. So you guys should check her out if you like books, <laughs> basically, or fashion. She does fashion stuff too. So yeah, we're just gonna chill for the rest of the night and then up bright and early to catch the train to Berlin tomorrow. Okay, you probably can't hear me at all, but I'm on the train to Berlin now. I had to do two transfers, which I did not film because I was worried I was gonna miss the transfers. Um, but we're on the train now. I got myself, okay, listen, okay. First class was an extra 10 euros. So naturally, I'm gonna get first class. So I'm in first class now, which is fantastic because it means that I can edit. So I'm in first class. As you can see, I have all of this space to myself and I can edit, which is all I wanted from this trip because I have a lot of work to do. Um, and I have like four hours on a train, so I may as well make good use of it. I was only in Berlin for a couple days, but one of the things that I wanted to do was see a palace. So, my good friend Janina and I went to see the Charlottenburg Palace in Berlin. So we spent pretty much the entire day exploring the palace and learning a little bit about the history of it. Construction of the Charlottenburg Palace began in 1695 and was completed in 1713. It was commissioned by Sophie Charlotte, the first queen consort of Prussia, and the wife of Friedrich I. When the palace was initially built, it was only one wing, which is now referred to as the Old Palace. This first part that we're exploring here is actually part of the East Wing or the New Palace. Even though it's called the New Wing, it was still built almost 300 years ago. Sophie Charlotte was a lover of the arts, and this love is reflected in the many ballrooms, halls, and commissioned paintings from various artists that decorate the walls and ceilings of the palace. There are beautiful Baroque-style ballrooms and entertainment rooms that could seat hundreds of people. The architecture and interiors of the new palace are absolutely stunning, and I would definitely say that one of my favorite rooms was the Golden Gallery. Then we spent some time exploring the old palace. Much of the palace was damaged in the Second World War, but years have since been spent on reconstructing the building and restoring the artistic interior to its formal glory. Much of what's in the old palace has been restored to exactly what it would have been before the war. 
The paintings have been redone or filled in in parts where they were burnt or damaged. And much of the old wood paneling, flooring, walls, and ceiling architecture is still exactly how it was hundreds of years ago. If you love exploring places and feeling the history that is part of them, you'll absolutely love exploring Charlottenburg Palace. It felt like an absolute fairy tale walking through it, and I could feel the stories and the history that would have happened in it. It's definitely a fairy tale location to visit. And if you're interested in hundreds of year old Baroque architecture and artwork, then you should definitely take a day to explore the Charlottenburg Palace if you're ever in Berlin. So since I was only in Berlin for two full days, I think, I didn't film much more than that. We were kind of just walking around the city. I was catching up with Yanina. Um, so it was a very chill visit, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it nonetheless, and I hope that you enjoyed that kind of, uh, virtual tour of Charlottenburg Palace. I absolutely loved the palace. I thought it was beautiful. I got so many incredible photos and it was literally just like such a magical place to be. It's so cool being in that kind of environment because for someone like me with a wild imagination, it's so easy to put myself in the shoes of the people who would have lived there and the people who would have interacted with that place. So yeah, it was really, really cool for me and I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing it as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, don't forget to smile and I will see you in my next video. Bye.